Hydraulic pressure is low at the left primary pump. The hydraulic synoptic shows that the left primary pump is inoperative. The left demand pump is in auto and operates automatically when low pressure is sensed at the primary pump. Turn off the left primary pump to prevent damage and or contamination. The left thrust reverser may be inoperative. When other primary pumps fail, the advisory messages are similar and the results are similar. Touch an ICAST message for further information. The C1 primary pump has overheated. Overheat enunciates on the hydraulic synoptic. Turn off the pump to try to eliminate the source of the overheat. Other overheat related messages and results are similar for the remaining primary pumps. Touch an ICAST message for further information. This message indicates hydraulic pressure is low in the left system. The left primary pump is inoperative. The demand pump is not operating even though it is in auto. The automatic function of the demand pump may have failed. The on position of the demand pump overrides the automatic logic. Rotate the selector to the on position. If the ICAST message remains, Turn off the primary pump and the demand pump. Without the left hydraulic system, the left thrust reverser is inoperative and Autoland is not available. Other demand pump messages require similar responses. Touch a message for further information.
Hydraulic pressure is low in the center system. To restore system pressure if the center system auto demand function has failed, turn on either center system demand pump. If both C1 and C2 demand pumps are turned on, system logic allows only C1 demand pump to run. Rotate the C1 demand pump selector to on. Notice the message remains displayed indicating system pressure has not been restored. The likely cause of low center system pressure is loss of hydraulic fluid. Let's look at how the system responds to a leak. If a leak occurs in the main portion of the center system, hydraulic quantity decreases to the standpipe level. When low quantity is sensed, the two isolation valves close. This isolates the C1 primary pump and the alternate reserve brakes from the rest of the center system. At the standpipe level, fluid quantity reads zero. If center system pressure drops to a low value, the left isolation valve reopens. Turn off the C2 primary pump and both demand pumps. The C1 primary pump remains on to provide hydraulic pressure for the alternate reserve brakes, nose gear extension retraction, and nose gear steering. If the leak had been in a different location and stopped when the isolation valves closed, the system pressure would remain normal. In that case, the left isolation valve would remain closed until the landing gear is selected down, and both left and right primary pumps are providing pressure. The isolation valve also opens after landing when the speed drops below 60 knots. Other quantity related ICAST messages may appear. Touch a message for further information. Loss of all three hydraulic systems causes the ram air turbine, or RAT, to deploy automatically. The RAT provides hydraulic pressure to the center system flight controls. If the RAT fails to deploy automatically, it can be deployed manually with the RAT switch.